In this video, we are going to finish implementing our item representing the uh, item from the inventory as well as the description part of our inventory system UI so that it is all ready for the next video where we are going to code some logic behind this system. Okay, let's get going. Okay, it's time to create an item for our UI. So we have those all those images, so let's open our canvas. Uh, and the in-game menu, inventory, inventory context, scroll view, viewport, and inside the context we have our image. Let's delete the additional images and let's leave only one of those. And we are going to select this image. Let's rename this, so right click and uh, rename. And we are going to call it item UI. Okay, so... Uh, first of all, maybe let's already drag it into a prefabs folder. There should it should be available for you, and let's open the prefab. Okay, now we are going to see that this has uh, the size of zero. So let's set the width and height to be 150. Probably this will be our uh, end uh, size of this image. So let's just set it in direct trans from 150 and 150. Now next let's select our image and let's select the source image and let's type GUI and we're going to select GUI underscore one. This will be our image. Now inside this panel we are going to want to have an image as well as a text that will display the quantity of the item that we possess in our inventory. So let's right click on this item, let's select UI and let's select an image. And this will be our image that will represent a, um, a, an item that we store in our inventory. Now let's not bother with the size for now. And inside this image we are going to right click, select UI and we are going to select text, text mesh pro. And this will be the text uh, des uh, describing the quantity. So to make it visible, first of all we are going to go to the inspector and set the vertex color to be black. I will assume that the most we can have is 99 items in one, um, uh, one uh, item displayed in the inventory. Let's select the rect tool and let's decrease the size of this item just to fit the text. We can of course modify the font size, let's maybe set it to 33, whatever you see fit. And we are going to set the alignment to be in the center and in the middle of the text. The, the text should appear in the middle of this transform. We can make this text a bit bold so it is more clear where it is and of course we need to select our rect transform and we are going to place it let's open the anchor preset and we are going to anchor it to the bottom corner and if we hold alt and shift we can place it here as well okay one issue that we can have is that if the image is a bit darker we are not going to see the text so to deal with it let's create another image inside our image that depicts the item that we have ui image and this will be the text txt background okay and we are going to set the width and height actually we are going to place this text in the text uh, background we are going to add to the text background uh, object a horizontal layout group and let's set the child alignment to be in the middle center and now what we can do is select our text background go to the rect transform anchor preset and let's hold alt and shift and let's anchor it in the corner of our uh, image and now what we can do is simply drag this using our rect transform to place it somewhere here and now if we change the color of this you can see that we have some sort of a background in our game uh, in our game view now as you can see in the game view, we can see that this doesn't fit. We are going to deal with it a bit later. But for now, this will be our preset. And what we want to do is set it to be white, the text background. And we want to set the alpha to be something like 0.5 or something like this. So that it doesn't cover uh, that much our image if it is different. But we can still perceive what is the number here. Okay, let's set it back to be white. And this will be our uh, image. Now, one more thing that I want to add is a way to show a border around our image. So I have, uh, let, let's actually create in the item UI, right click UI and let's create another image. And we are going to call it border. So that just to depict that we have selected an item, let's select our border, let's select our source item, uh, source image, and we are going to select it. And let's type GUI. 
and we should have the gui underscore three this is a sort of a border so to make it fill in this image let's select our uh, anchor preset hold alt and shift and let's select this to fill in the whole uh, image okay so basically we can place our image inside our border and now the, the image will be inside the border so in the border let's add another horizontal layout group since it is the uh, best way to ensure that the image stays in the center of it let's select child alignment middle center control width and height and now all we need to do is add some padding so let's add 15 maybe to the padding uh, on each side of our image and now we are sure that the image fills in the whole border but we can disable the border image so we can ensure that we can actually show that we have selected this image okay so while the size is 150 and 150 if we go back we are going to see that our text doesn't feed the uh, image when it is placed in our content let's select our item ui inside our content and let's select overrides and let's apply uh, revert all the changes and now it should be fixed apparently there were some changes applied to the instance of our prefab okay with that done let's take a look at our description let's focus on filling in the description of our inventory item so i'm pretty sure that we want to add here two elements before that we are going to add to our inventory description let's add here a vertical layout group and now if we add two panels here so let's right click ui and let's select panel and this will be image panel and let's use Ctrl D to duplicate it. Uh, and we are going to call this one description panel. Okay. And let's select our inventory description parent object and let's set control child width and height. And we are going to again see this issue where our image and the description takes the same amount of uh, space. Uh, in terms of the height of those elements now again we do not want that so again we are going to ensure that the child alignment is middle center and what we need to do is go to the first image panel let's add layout element and we can set here the minimum height that we want let's me check this and let's set it to be 200 okay now uh, it didn't go down it actually uh, was enlarged so again let's select the second element let's add the layout element let's select flexible height and we are going to add here for example 200 so now our layout is what we wanted it to be now in the top section i will want to have an image of the item so i will select our image panel i will disable this image and inside this i will right click create a ui image now I want to select the rect transfer anchor position alt shift and place it in the center and I want to set the width and height to be 200 and 200 and now this will be our image again we can select our image select the sprite uh, GUI and we should select uh, I think this will be the brown one so underscore one and inside this we are going to right click create another image and this will be the image in uh, the, the brown one will be the border and the instant inner one will be the image we are going to select the first image so uh, maybe image border okay and we are going to add to this image border a horizontal layout group and we are going to ensure that we are placing the child alignment is in the center and let's assign the paddings to be about 20 on uh, in each direction okay and to make it work let's control the child size let's check the width and height and now we have this image here okay and last thing that i want to ensure is that i have this description panel filled in so let's select the image component of this description panel and let's of course assign some uh, specific um, gui image i'm going to select this underscore zero i'll need to select the color and set the alpha to be full alpha and of course we can minimize or actually increase the pixel per unit size to minimize the borders here and i want to place the two text objects inside this panel uh, the, the title and the description itself so i will add to this description panel another component called vertical layout group this will allow me to place two objects vertically and i will control the child size with and height set to be true and child alignment we can probably set it to be upper center because we basically want to place it this way 
and i'm going to add to this description two ui text mesh pro uh, objects first will be the title and let's control d to duplicate it the second one will be the uh, description again to make it work as we intended to let's select the first one let's call it title a txt maybe just to make it clear and the description txt and for the title txt we need to add a component here so let me minimize the text mesh pro and i'm going to add a component uh, element uh, layout element and we are going to set the uh, mean height to be 10 okay and the second one description add layout element and uh, a flexible height let's add 200 okay and this is how our uh, elements will come up in our description for the title text of course we may want to tweak this text let's set the vertical vertex color to be black let's set the alignment to be center and in the middle so the the title appears in the center uh, in the middle center of our description and let's maybe increase the font size let's set it to be uh, 48 for example now this will be much bigger now as we can see the description text again needs to be of a different color so let's set the text color to be black let's maybe set the font size to be 24 and now we still have an issue that the text overlaps the border of our uh, the text area the panel area so let's go to our description panel to our uh, vertical layout group open the padding and let's set maybe 30 30 30 30 and 30 and now our text should appear somewhere in the uh, correct position now let me paste some longer text here and we are going to see that now we have one more issue here it seems like our settings for our inventory content and description didn't quite work out for us so to fix this let's select our inventory content layout element and for the flexible width let's set it to be 500 for example and the inventory description instead of min width we are going to uncheck it and set the prefer width instead let's set it to be 500 and as you can see now the prefer width is 500 but the inventory content is flexible and is pushing the uh, description to stay in its bounds we can of course try to increase it but nothing should change because it should already take maximum space uh, available leaving the description only the 500 that is the preferred width so working with those layout elements can be a bit tricky sorry about that okay so now we have our ui ready one more thing that we may want to test is what happens with our description if we copy this text and paste it below now we are going to see that this overflows and what we can do is select in the text mesh pro of our description txt to select the overflow and we can select the page for example and this will cut the text short but of course the best solution would be to add a scroll view again and place this content in the scroll view so it is masked but it, there is a scroll view that we can scroll it we are not going to go that deep into the ui part so i'm going to assume that all our descriptions will fit this and the page uh, overflow setting will keep this working i'm also quite sure that the pages settings can be used to added this uh, functionality instead of using the scroll uh, view inside the unity anyhow that's our ui for the inventory in the next video we are going to start writing some code for it see you in the next video